Hello, I'm John Koontz from Waterloo Records and Video. And uh, I hate to correct Rebecca, but I was part of that landmark study with book people, and uh, it was three and a half times the money spent at a local business versus shopping at a chain store. So I uh, just wanted to get that one in there. Um, let's see. The um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, when, when someone lands at the airport, they see a sign that says, Welcome to the live music capital of the world. And as someone that's both a live music venue and uh, a record and video store, um, I'm definitely in favor of 60 with its, its emphasis on the music industry as well as its emphasis on the independent businesses. And, um, you know, the airport also has all of the uh, wonderful restaurants and stores in it. And it was the people sitting on this dais over 20 years ago that decided they wanted it to be uniquely Austin at the airport. Consistently, our airport uh, is rated one of the highest in the country for, I think, in many cases, that reason alone. The, um, if, if you decide not to go with 60, I think perhaps you should also consider being consistent and maybe change that was what, what was done over 20 years ago. Um, you could kick book people out and bring Barnes & Noble in. Kick Thundercloud out, bring Subway in. Lose Austin Java, there's plenty of Starbucks. Maudie's, oh, come on, how about Taco Bell? Hoover's, oh, I'd rather have Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson's Donuts, eh, Krispy Kreme. Amy's, yeah, I'll try getting a crush in at Baskin Robbins. And this one, this one would really hurts, hurts to say, but... Waterloo Records shares a store with Austin City Limits Public Television Program, but that could become FYE an American Idol. <laughs> if anyone knows about what attracts and appeals to tourists, I think it's the people that write guidebooks to Austin. I did a quick survey with my buddy Steve Burke, who over at uh, Book People. There are 10 travel guides just about Austin, not counting the ones that also include San Antonio and the Hill Country. For your information, there are 1,604 pages talking about all the great things to do in Austin, all the restaurants, shops, clubs, etc. Of course, Walmart, Best Buy, uh, McDonald's aren't mentioned there because they're the same everywhere. There is two mentions in one of the travel books on the convention center. One says it's big. The other one says roller derby's there. <laughs>